Hi. Um, in science this week, we're going to look a little bit about how we see things. And um, because we've done our colour spectrum investigation last week, um, I think it'd be good to kind of have a look at colours and see in colour. Okay? And um, you might know that, um, you know, when we do art at school, you know, and painters, their primary colours, okay, are they're red, yellow, and blue. And painters, they, they use those colours to make other colours. They mix them. They make other colours. Okay? Now, primary colours in science is a little bit different, okay? Because in science, uh, the primary colours are red, green, and blue, okay? Um, and the reason why is because Sir Isaac Newton, when he was 23 years old, he was playing about with mirrors, just like we've been doing. He was playing about with prisms, okay? And he found, okay, that he could get white light, he could create white light by using these things with these colours, red, green and blue, okay? And... Uh, you're going to do a little experiment where you make a colour wheel using red, green and blue dots, okay? And then you're going to spin the wheel and you're going to see how all the colours merge into one. Um, I hope you enjoy that. Um, he was clever, Sir Isaac Newton, only 23, and he came up with that. So to make this colour wheel, um, you need the um, red green and blue pens. You need something round to draw around and you need some card. Now it's supposed to be white card. I haven't got white card. So I'm going to cut some card out and just stick some white paper on it. And top tip is I'm going to put my white paper um, on the card before I put that on to draw around, okay? Because it's just easier. There we go. Bit of glue. Oh, that's the doorbell. I'll be back in a minute. Right, okay. Um, so, I put my glue on, all right? And... Then I'm going to put my white paper on. I just make sure it's really you know, stuck, stuck down nicely. And then I'm going to draw around my round thing. I just hold it down, go around that way, go around that way. There we go. I've got my circle, all right? And then um, cut it out. And your circle will be much better than mine because you're going to spend ages doing it. Right, okay, now I just do, so I can do my um, investigation into the science primary colours. Um, I'm going to do um, some green dots, and then some blue dots, and then some red dots. So you're going to be a little bit like Isaac Newton, and you're going to see... Um, you're going to kind of see what he found out by making this colour wheel. Um, he was able to make white light um, from combining these colours. And he learnt loads about the colour spectrum that we did last week. And about how to, how to split white light and see the colours of the rainbow. hope you've remembered Fib Gior, which is our way of remembering all the colours of the rainbow. Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, Harry Potter, yeah, they all sound like that, they might say something like that. Right, okay, then, you don't have to do this bit, but this just makes it a bit easier, and also saves the table, alright, because remember, your parents, they don't want all dirty tables and things like that. So, I've got some sticky tack here, and I'm just going to make it into a little ball, and then put it there, and then I'm going to use my um, pencil, oh, can you see it? I'm going to use my pencil to go through the middle, and I know that I can see that's roughly the middle there. Put it on the sticky tack, make a hole. Okay, so I made a hole. There it is. Okay, 
and then I'm just going to wiggle, 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 wiggle the pencil so it goes through. And now I'm ready to do the test. Okay, top tip is short pencil when you do the test, okay? I'll show you. So when you tested uh, your colour wheels, okay, uh, with the scientific primary colours of blue, red and green, you might have noticed that all the dots, they start, when it's spinning at a fast speed, they all merge into one. And that's something that scientists call the persistence of vision. And um, it's something that actually helps us understand when we're watching a film in the cinema. Um, and I know you were doing optical illusions last week, so this little experiment might have helped you to kind of understand that a bit. I hope you enjoyed that one, um, and I'd love to see some of your colour wheels.